guys, tomorrow morning we embark on the adventure of a lifetime, a three week road trip across the entire country. Um, I just finished getting things packed up. Well, not my clothes yet, but I got everything else packed up. Um, I tried to pack all the food that I would need for the entire trip because that, that's honestly just way cheaper than having to go to the store like during the trip. So hopefully I don't run out of food. I don't think it will. I'll probably have an abundance. So I will keep you updated on how this trip is going. Hopefully we make it back okay. Listen guys, it's early today. I'm not one to wake up before in the morning. This is kind of ridiculous. But I have an 18 hour driving day ahead of me. I gotta get out of the way. I'm leaving at 4 a.m. to be able to make it to Colorado tonight. So let's see how it goes. Cody, you excited? You excited? So after 17 hours of driving today, I decided to call it quits. Um, I didn't actually make it where I wanted to make it today. Denver just had like a massive amount of delays in the road and so um, I wasn't able to get where I wanted to, but I found a rest stop, so I'm just gonna sleep here for the night. It was a long day, but I'm ready to hike my mountain tomorrow. So, where we small talk each other, turn the beat up, turn it real long, turn the beat up, turn it real long. Yosemite is probably, I would say probably my favorite place I've ever been. This is my second time visiting. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard about the Ferguson fires that are going on, but it is absolutely crazy how much smoke there actually is in the air. I don't know if you can actually tell, but there should be an amazing view right there, and literally you can't see or anything. It's all just smoke. I know the forest fires are part of nature, but it just kind of makes me sad. Hmm. Like, it literally smells like burning wood. massive blister on the back of my right heel and then my big toe and second toe on my right foot um, I stubbed super bad and it actually ended up making blisters under both toenails never had that before but it's pretty awful um, but I realized that it completely like like disconnected my toenail like I could like move my toenail around it was still connected in the back but not like underneath and so today, um, like the skin underneath my, like that connects your toenail to your toe kind of started ripping and I could kind of start to pull it up a little bit. And 
I just decided to take it off. Okay, so now I have no big toenail. Um, I'm not going to show you because it's the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. But, man, look at this thing. Look at it. Like, who knew it was actually that big? It's disgusting. But, I gotta say, it feels a lot better. It hurt so bad, and now it's gone, and it feels better, so... It's 8 o'clock, and we're ready for bed. <laughs> Already. So tonight, um, Coda and I are sleeping in a Walmart parking lot. Uh, it's right off of Highway 101, which is kind of like the, it's the coastal highway that goes all the way up and down the west coast. And I was really worried about like if it was going to be sketchy or whatnot, but uh, look at all these people doing it. Those are all just RVs and people sleeping in their cars and I'm not worried, so it'll be fine. So Coda and I are now in my car. Um, let me tell you, it's not easy to sleep in a car with a dog, but I'm gonna show you how I do it. Um, so I currently have, uh, we are laying on top of the two back seats. My back two seats um, lay down. So my legs are like in the trunk right now. My body's kind of like where the back seats would be. Um, and it just makes a lot of extra room so we can both lay back here. So you can see. My legs are down there in the trunk. Um, as for the back window, I just kind of stuff some stuff in there so people don't see. So I had seen, this was actually an idea that um, somebody gave me. It's, you buy, it's just a shower curtain that I got at Walmart that I bought in a dark color. And then I cut them to kind of like match the size of my windows. And then I just kind of, you know, close the door with it in it so that it holds it up and it kind of makes like a, uh, you know, like a little curtain for your car so people can't see in. And then for the front window, I just have like those sun visor things. So it kind of makes it like a little cave in here. Not too bad, especially when there's a whole bunch of other people here, so yeah. Washington because I spent a couple days with my aunts who lives there and uh, we just kind of like visited some wineries and we went and saw my cousin who lives a couple hours away from her in Washington and um, so I just had a good relaxing couple of days now keep watching for my week two video that I will get up um, so you can see where I'm at and what I'm doing right now and um, so subscribe to me comment on my video like my video let me know what you think Thanks for watching.